grind hard to get ahead. You trying to go backwards. Feel us from the past. Pray the Lord block it all up. So what's up? It's your boy Kevin Two Turn coming back in with another motherfucking video, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I'm on this YouTube shit now. Your boy will be a little bit more happier, but some fuck shit been happening, bro. I don't know if y'all been hearing about it, but but some fuck shit have really been happening. R.I.P. George Floyd. R.I.P. Brian Taylor. Now, this shit happened about like last, like some, it was probably a month ago or some weeks ago, and it caught everybody off guard. Um, this happened in Philadelphia, bruh. Some bullshit have happened, bruh. Okay. A nigga named Walter Wallace. He died. This was, um... He died by some polices. Now, the shit was crazy, bruh. Everything that happened on that shit, that shit was crazy. The, um... I'm not justifying what the nigga did, but... I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Walter Wallace, uh, he was like 28 or 29. The nigga was in Philadelphia. He had, um, eight kids. He had eight or nine kids, bruh. He's only 28. Okay. The nigga was, um, the nigga, the nigga had mental, mental health issues, bruh. The nigga had mental health issues, man. The family knew it. Everybody around the family knew it. The kids even knew it. That he had mental health issues, bro. But, okay. So, the family was calling, um, was, was trying to call, um, the people, the ambulance people, to give this nigga some mental health, um, get, get this nigga to a mental health hospital or, Take this nigga away to get to mental health. They said he was he used to hit on his on a mama type shit, which no justifying none of that. And and some crazy shit. Now the nigga they the family I guess the the family loved the nigga, bruh. They were just trying to get the nigga some help because he had mental health issues, man. Okay, so they called. They called the police to get some mental from so, so he can get the um the ambulance. Every time they called, the police came out there. Now they said that every time they called the police to get the ambulance, the police just come out there. And they would tell them they would tell them that they need the, the dude, Walter Wallace, need to get some mental health issues looked at. The police would just laugh at him. They did it, they, and they, they said the police would just laugh at him, laugh at them, and not do nothing about it. They wouldn't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing at all. So, they did it about one more time. Nothing happened. So, they did it the third time. So, the third time... Walter Wallace came out the crib. Like I said, he got mental health issues. He needs to go to the hospital. They were not trying to. They were not trying to send the ambulance people to help him. So the third time they had called for the ambulance people to come get the dude, so he can go to a mental health place. So the police came up again, and um, this time Walter Wallace was not having it. Walter Wallace had came out there with a. With a um, with a knife, and he was chasing the police around. What I'm not I'm not justifying what he did was right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the the police they they supposed to have all these type of weapons to you know what I'm saying protect to, to you know what I'm saying protect the people 
who need the help for protection instead of just killing them. They supposed to have a taser. They supposed to have something. You know what I'm saying? They could even have a tr- a, tr- a, a tranquilizer dart. The thing that the only thing that, the only thing that they were thinking about was killing the dude. Even though the dude, they were trying to get the dude, they trying to get the dude time to move away from from, from trying to from trying to hurt them. So the police just ended up killing them. So they shot like by three, four, five times, and they killed them. Now the family after all that happened, there was a riot. In Philadelphia, it was about like 300 people rioting, protesting, and the police, they were scared. Now, the family has spoken, the family has spoken out on what happened. The mom and two of the kids, because he had eight kids. The eight kids, the eight kids, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? ain't going to see their dad no more. So, R.P. Walter Wallace. Uh, the family has spoken out and went to a, and went and talked to people. The kid was like, "The police is a racist." It was white pro. The white racist police officers had killed his dad. Both of them. They said the white white police had killed their dad. And the, supposedly they talking about the mom that was getting beat up on. Was fi- so how you the mom was fighting for the for the, for the dad too, type shit. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to get that nigga some mental health. Now, the family didn't want the riot to keep on happening. Now, what making me so mad and make me feel like I want to talk about it was what was all this when? Why you know what I'm saying? They they killed the black dude. And he didn't, even, he, he didn't even kill nobody. But when um that dude had killed all them people at that black church, and he shot up the people, every he, I, forgot, I forgot the white dude's name. He shot up that black church, and he killed and he killed all them all them black people. Where was what was they doing at that time? You know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna bring that bullshit up. What was they at? They they took this nigga to jail. They no, they didn't. They, the thing is, they didn't even take the nigga to jail, bruh. They took the white dude to Burger King and gave this nigga some fucking Burger King combo after he done killed a whole church of black people. But Walter Wallace. They been called saying well, Walter Wallace need help. To, he had he had mental health issues that he needed help. They took that nigga and killed that nigga in a, like that. Then that's not even it. The other white dude who was shot at the who shot up the protest who shot up them protest people. They sh- he shot up like he killed like four five six people and. And they let him go. They didn't even. The nigga was holding a fucking AR, bruh. The white dude was holding an AR, and the police literally let him walk home. They walk. He walked right. He walked right past them with a fucking AR. They didn't shoot them niggas. They let him walk home. And everything. And the next day, they took. They were on the side to take him to jail. But then, the pol- the governor, the governor was t- talking about yeah. Uh, they need somebody out there to kill some, to do some shit like that. What? So, so, the, so they get, a, so, so they get, a, they get a badge and an award for killing people, killing black people and killing protesters. They get a, they get a badge and an award. And I'm pretty sure if they in jail, they, they, they think they getting taken care of. I'm pretty sure they getting taken care of. I'm, I'm pretty sure they not. They not um they not getting you know what I'm saying they they probably in their own place they got they probably get all the food everything they want type shit to what they did but a black as a black person as a black man one thing one thing happened 
and it's already they don't even think about nothing. Just shoot them, shoot the nigga. And they, they, but they, but they talking about what about his mental health issues? You know what I'm saying? So his mental, I black as a black man, our mental health issues is not important. We been we go we we, we go through so much police violence. We went through the drugs, the crack, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that was supposed to oppose the black man, oppress the black man, none of that shit matter. But when you come down to a white person, I guess they mental health health issues are way worse than ours, huh? Is that what it is? So. All that slavery and all that um segregation and all that um beaten by the police and all that don't all that don't hurt a black person. But so for a white man, his mental his health issues, which shouldn't be none, his mental health issues are way worse than ours. So they get to go, they get to get away with every little thing. So a black man have mental health issues and they just laugh at the nigga and they and the, and the time he go he go crazy they didn't have no tasers they didn't have nothing to stop him no tranquilizer dart like they should have been prepared right if they get caught if they get caught and they call the police like the the, the police in the, uh, in the in the um in the um and the ambulance like three times they're not prepared they they not prepared to have a taser or something to stop him or a tranquilizer dart or anything. They they didn't have nothing to stop him, so they the only thing they was thinking about was get a gun, right? The fuck like that shit was stupid, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like they knew what was going on, so they already had it in their mindset to kill him, cause they cause if you heard they came down to him, they came down to him. And laughed at the family when it, when they when they talking about that he needed help he he had mental health issues they laughed at him so they knew something was gonna go ha- going down they knew something was gonna happen if you get three if you get three calls and they talking about mental health issues don't you expect the next time to have something to 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 tase him or to something and I'm not justifying what he was did what he did was was right or wrong. Because you shouldn't be running around like that with a knife anyway, but I don't, I don't, the white people, they get extra chances to go kill anybody and nothing happen to them. All they get to go, and all they do is jail. As a black man, he come out with a knife and he get killed. Shit, shit is crazy, man. I, I, I made this video just to say, man, is... Bro, we ain't they ain't giving us no chances at all, bro. It's how to get killed or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't giving us no chances, bro. They giving them, they giving white people all the type of chances in the world to do what they want to do. So, I'm just telling y'all niggas be safe on these streets, bro. Don't call the police for no unnecessary bullshit. Um and if, it, if some shit like that does happen to where your people do have mental F health issues, bro, try to force them, bro, to to go somewhere for the for help, bro. Like the police is like one of the last thing you should call on your people anyway, because you see what they see, you see what's going on in, in, in the world, and and I don't think that police is, you know, what I'm saying. We understand our problems, bruh. You know, as a black man, we already mad because of bullshit that's be happening. So you having somebody else who don't have, who don't even understand our problems, want to try to rest us. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with us. So the best bet is get your family. You may, you might even have to move. You know what I'm saying? If something happened like that, leave. If the dude is acting crazy, leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, now he dead over some bull crap. But, uh, R.I.P. Walter Wallace. I'm not justifying what he did was right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? 
It's just sad to see another black man die over some bullshit. Um, we gon' we gon' keep keep up with this case and see what they got to say about it. It really um really made me kind of you know what I'm saying mad because they giving these white people all the chances in the world. But um, fuck with your boy. I'm gonna come back with they if they still talking about this shit and we come with some more evidence of what happened. I'm gonna come back on this shit. Fuck with your boy. I'm out this bitch. And yeah, deuces. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
I'm gonna go to the 